leading hand in the Royal Navy and my role on board is a lead engineer and technician, weapons engineer, submarines. To be totally honest with you, I had no real direction when I finished school. I was doing engineering at college, so I kind of wanted an engineering background, but there wasn't many apprenticeships available. So I ended up bumping into my friend from school one night and uh, he was in the Navy and he just said, listen, why don't you give it a try? And I went and applied on the Monday and now here I am. Definitely. Because you go through the same training and everyone's got to be at the same standard to get these dolphins, which is your award that you're given for passing your submarine qualification, it definitely makes you feel part of, um, of a, a tight-knit community and it's, it's really welcoming to everyone of all ages. When you're doing operational stuff of a sensitive nature, then obviously there is that lack of communication. But again, because you're busy and you're doing such interesting stuff, the time flies and, and you kind of put it to the back of your mind. But when we're on peacekeeping operations, you do get the chance to email on certain classes of submarine. It really does help. You get your annual leave, which is your 38 days, which by law you have to take. And then when you're on deployment as well, you'll do so many weeks or months away and then when you fly home from that submarine that time is then yours so for me personally last year I did four months away and then I got three months off so really three months off is a long time and in that time I was allowed to go on holiday spend time with friends festivals and stuff and live your life basically and then you come back to the job once you've had your good time the main thing is you, you're going to get skills for life it, it doesn't matter if you're going into engineering, logistics, any branch across the Royal Navy, you are going to come away with more skills and skills you can then take on into your civilian life should you choose to leave after five, 10, 15 years. You know, it's, it's your skills you've got then. That's it. For me, one thing that I love doing is getting back off deployment and meeting my mates in the pub. And they're asking, you know, how was it? And there's so many things that I can tell them about all the places I've been, hotels I've stayed in, like crazy nights out we've had. But then there's like the element of the top secret stuff as well, which is exciting for me knowing what I've done. And it's exciting seeing the look on their face of, of intrigue and thinking, oh, well, I want to know about that, but you, you can't really tell them. Um, but for me, over the six years, as a sum up of places and experiences and operations that I've done, I've had a great time.